<sighs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth and before I can tell you on for the path of the key, in the cave of the key, I want to at least grab those materials. Hmm. Wait a minute, do I have enough to make something new in the, in the transmitter? Nope, I still need one cos cosmetite ore. And just about for everything else, that's going to take a while. No, I might as well convert this, this into a high power wrist guard. God, I think I'm going to be finding some more gi. Yep, gi lancer. Oh, a gi sorcerer. That's a new one. But I think that's the one I'm. I need to go after first. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Gi Archer is weak to fire, but Gi Sorcerer is also weak to fire. Lesser resistance to resi I believe it was, yeah, proportional damage. Let's get wildfire going. That should take care of the key sorcerer. Here goes. Gotcha. Let's see. I want to get wildfire going again. Yeah, I better go. Watchers, respite. Alright, that should take care of the Lancer. Yeah, I better deal with a. Uh, you better go start us right. Barrett has... Ooh. There we go. We beat them. Have you now? In what sense? They have yet to truly pass on, and their rage remains unquenched. Come, let us keep pressing forward. We're very nearly there. Well, that was hard battle. I right, got a stinger and a two face. Yeah, let's go wildfire and stinger. Fear me! All right, got this. Sorry, Let's go. Sidewinder. Need my help, do you? Yes, yeah, focus shot. Well, okay, let's shake a leg. Alright, yeah. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Actually, hmm. Structurally, I think I'm meant to go straight. It feels like this way might lead to some. Huh. That's the gate. No, that's not a gate, that's a. Yeah, yeah I'm going to head up this way. I only got two legs here, you know. I feel like there might be something up up this way. We can take him. Coming at ya. Gotcha.
like Stardust Ray might be the way to go. Let's go Crescent Claw. I got the stagger. Yeah, let's get away from all of them. Oh, there's still one left to go. That two face isn't going away. Alright, something's up with this two face. Gotcha. Look out. Gotcha. Keep going in. Why this two face isn't going away? Yeah, I would like to pick up that materia. Something is definitely up. Huh. So, I'm gonna have to retry this battle because that... It just didn't go away. Great, I'm stopped. D 
Speed Brave's not gonna... Alright, got the stagger on that. That was a good one. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Finally. Now go away. Okay, let's sink a leg. Finally. Something happened where that I couldn't get out of that battle, but I got empowerment materia. I got a grenade. Mm, I better cure myself. There we go. Break some boxes. And hey, there's it. Alright, let's break these down. Those two. Hmm. I only got two legs here, you know. Yeah, well, let me open this. Who got some oregano? Hmm. This reminds me of those altars. Yeah. <laughs> there is a similarity here. This sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the king. This, however, was built to provide the Citra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Citra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Nanaki, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. Alright, so... Alright, that's one way, but... This way I gotta go up. This way next. I don't wanna break all of that. Ooh, got some spider webs. Uh. Yeah, let's let's get let's pull this chain out. Should lead to this one. Hmm. That could lead to that gate, but I want to check up here. Yeah, get some more items. Yeah, of course, such a, tre a treasure. Hmm. Twenty-six hundred gil. over here. Hmm. Alright, something about this. Alright, obviously that chain needs to stay up, but where exactly? Oh, I think it's here. Yeah, now I think I got... Yeah, I have to pull this. Alright, there we go. Third gate complete. And still ways to go. Got a feeling something's gonna be popping up here. Huh. Yeah. Sorrow to Forty-five years ago, a watcher fought his way here alone, 
and in his bravery took upon himself the burden of our home. Wait a minute, is there... No, nothing over there. I need to check and be thorough. But it looks like I'm close to where I... Wait a minute, how's there a vending machine? Yeah, out here. How? Unless I had the ether and the phoenix down. And, yeah, and, oh, don't want to forget this, but, yeah, that's in good shape. Might as well rest up. I could use it. Well, Barry and I both could. Boogenhag, Boogenhagen? All right, so. Mm, more materials. So, whatever I'm looking for is up here. Is it? No. What is it? Their eye manifests once more. Oh. Do not underestimate this foe. Well, there's only two of us, and it's genetic. What the hell is this thing? Ow! I don't think. Oh, yeah. This isn't good. I need to. Alright, I definitely need to heal up. Oh, I can target the Genetic. Wait a minute, I I wonder. Does this work on Genetic? Oh, it's immune. Nice touch, game. But now I want to check this. How about this? All right, reduce damage from healing. Yeah, I definitely want to assess. All right. So it's greater resistance is fixed damage. So basically, those potions aren't doing much. But not a whole lot in terms of. But I think a mist high potion would help here. Ow. Alright, my time to shine. Well, you and me. I'm gonna do charging up a cut. Let's go, Maximum Fury! There we go! Yeah, 
I want supernatural fervor. Let's go. Maximum Fury. And Overfang. Oh, it's drawing from from the spirits around here. There's so many. Where's a big bucket of water when you need it? Hmm. Soul flame. So would a Miss Potion help? Let's go blood thing on at least one. How'd you like that? Yeah, maximum fury. See, see if I can get as, ri as many of these as possible. Yeah, I want to go Stardust right here. Desecration and There must be a way to stop him. Yeah, I best go fire and hold on the genetic. Alright, got good pressure on him. Yeah, let's go over fame. Bring it in. Bring it home. All right, my time to shine. Yeah, go for it. We got this. Yeah, we got this. I need Barrett to. I want Bear to go maximum fury. Let's do this. Need my help, do you? That's all. All right, got the stagger going. You ain't getting no stop till it's done. Now I want Stardust Ray. Oh, it's casting doom. Not good. Damn it. I'm counting. Go for it. You got this. All right, my time to shine. Yeah. Look at me. Here goes. Yeah, I might want to summon the Phoenix here. Mind lending us a hand? So I need to finish this off quickly. Alright, Maximum Fury. Yeah, now I want to go over Fang. I almost got it done. Now, 
Got it! Kinetic done. Become quite the formidable fighter. Well, thanks. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. Wait, there's someone be greater than the keen addict to determine this? I played the original. I think I got an idea of who's waiting. Alright, the Wall of Honor. So, exactly who is waiting? The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly, and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us, to this very day. Ah. Wait. Is that...? I think it is. Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. Ah. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. <laughs> your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki. Their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> But this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the veil once more. Hmm. But I'm a watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, Start to believe you've seen it all, and no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. We will. Don't worry. We will. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Manaki? 
You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto. Protector of our Vale! Seto's crying. <laughs> Even through it all, the Giver is just third rate duelist with fourth rate decks. Oh, it's Gi Natak. I'm sorry, I got your name wrong. Brave and noble Seto. I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. Hmm. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Cetra. What is it about, Aerith? Come with me. So there's more. That was... Oh, an exciting turn of events indeed. Hmm. We'll back you up for two now. <laughs> Wait, Sephiroth? What? But there's no black robes here. No. This one's free. Alright, so... The entire party is back, and... Alright, is Cloud Teeth and Kate Sif... Exactly who I need because they need the. Hmm. Wait a minute, is there. Oh, I can't go back that way. But, that's why I'll be going forward. Uh, can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. You can talk like that in a place like this. I'm scared of my wet here. I don't know. This gi dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. Wait a minute. The Inlet of the Lost is this? Wait, is that the live stream? That could explain why we've seen Sephiroth. The of the Gee lies beyond. Hmm. Now let us begin our journey. Well, okay then. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's so okay, goofy. All <laughs> yeah, there is a bit heavier, so I mean, I mean, no. right, careful. Would have stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. So, what did you want us to see, Gee? Hmm. I'm gonna hurl. Maybe try swaying with the rock. 
rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Yes, infinite. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Hmm. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them. By lineage alone. Ah, oh, so... What does that mean? You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. Hmm. So you're saying it's best for Earth not to know of her past, of her people's past. Meanwhile, so in Sector on, Five, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark, thinking this is it, this is how it ends. Only it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. Tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. I mean, so. <clears throat> Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm feeling every single force. One minute, I'm outnumbered. In the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? That's a good way. Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, yeah. I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. Man, okay then. So, kind of learning a bit more of what's been... It's like... The Whispers saved Zack and Biggs. But the world they're in isn't the one Cloud's so, in. How's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten There's times no that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on. He's desperate to prove Maybe himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A sack of all trades. Why? Oh. Because one's not enough. I'll think about it. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I'm wondering, is this... Is this the I, I mean, they, do they know that they're not in the same world? Get a load of this. Okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait! Don't tell me you're going! The things I do for friends. Yeah, seems like it. Looks to all the folks topside. So, if this is a different world than the one that... You ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like... a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm wondering, why did the Whispers decide on Zack and Biggs? Mm. Right now, I've been trying to do my best to avoid st hey, Biggs. being spoiled. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah? Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> mm -hmm. Good question. Yeah, I'm sure... I hope we find out the answers. And not have to wait until part three. Hmm. Hey, take one of us next. Chocobo racing. And... I just hope I can put on a good smile. You know. Hmm. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go like happy? The guy who only has to worry about the how doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that yeah. be? Uh, you were the guy with Aerith. Right? Whoever brought you back, I guess. We don't gotta I'm do assuming there was right? someone. Who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, that really is a good question. What does fate have in store for me? Copy. Wait a minute, this is where I fought the Tonberry. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Yeah. Who's there? What? Huh. <laughs> Kyrie. Hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. Hmm. I told you I wasn't There's a... cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. I uh, just haven't discovered it yet, Diggs. Sorry for wasting your time. Mommy and Elmira.
Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose of all, when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> yeah. The world's lucky to have you. Mm -hmm. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should mm -hmm. probably head home too. Yeah, it sounds like he's... Mm, sounds like you're the hero they're waiting for, Zack. Yeah, that's pretty much a long way from home. Well, his actual home. Sure, his parents miss him. They still do. Ah, uh, yeah, Elmira's home. Wait a minute, nothing's growing there anymore. Probably since what? Well, happened to Aerith and all. Well, time to head in. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Yes. Biggs. Really? Yeah. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! Zack, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your Daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. Yeah. you, wasn't it? Hello in there. <coughs> there? Huh. Oh. Alright, go to the key. So, guess I got stuff to do here. I'm approaching the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, right, Yuffie? Don't throw up in the live stream, okay? Still standing! <laughs> She's... she gets motion sickness, Mr. Dean Natak. Hmm? Oh, you're just gonna leave us here? Welcome to the village of the Gee. Yeah, this village wasn't here before, and... I think before I even consider moving on. 
Hey, there's some materials and a new... Looks like a new weapon. Oh, a ceremonial staff for Aerith. Alright, not as much in terms of... Materials. Oh, ATB ward. Oh. This could be pretty useful. Alright, so, let's see. I kind of want to keep this one around because it, even though these two don't link, because I need to, this material to grow. But, let's see, hmm. Enduring Ward. I want Reprieve and... I definitely want Magic Attack Power Up. As for Cloud... Yeah, I'm going to replace Kajai with... Bahamut Arisen. And move, move Aerith to to Kajada. Mm, I'm gonna grab this. Hmm, Spriggus Sage. And obviously, I want. Hmm, I might as well buy these Mega Potions. And I better buy some Maiden's Kisses. And... Hmm, wait a minute, check this. Alright. I don't think there's a reason for me to sit on the bench, but... Wait, that would mean that... Still, I'm wondering how the Gi had this... As an item shop. Seems like a spiritual item shop. Or something. But. Yeah, I'm going to call it an episode here. And next time, I'll explore the village of the Gi. So, until then, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. So, until then, stay safe. Be kind to each other. And treat, mm, treat your elder Gi with love, care, and respect. Thanks, everyone.